Welcome back to Get With The Programming. I'm Chase Ingram. I'm Captain America. And along with me is Bill Grundler. Wolverine. It's been a hot minute, folks. I got to play Chase today by being late, so I apologize. Everybody. Oh, yes. That's my yes. bad. That's my Bigger bad. page in my old playbook. Good morning <laughs> and afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. It's been a little bit. As you can see, if you're watching on YouTube, I am wearing the new merch we just dropped for Wadapalooza for the OG culture. They're and so it sick. is so sick. They're so sick. Ken and Sherpa Works are just crushing it right now. Crushing it. And so if you guys haven't seen it, you can go to their uh, Instagram. You can go to our Instagram page. Oh, yeah. And uh, let, me, let me pull this. I had the black good. one on because you know me. I, I thought you were going to wear the black one today, which is why I wore the. You wear a tie dye, anyway, but that's totally you. You're, you're much more colorful than I am. I mean, thus, yeah. hello, black again. Hello. Said, I mean, <laughs> I, that's what I do, you know? Yeah. But so those are so sick. Out. Check that out. Huh? We got an OG Beach Club. Mm hmm. And then Officer the Puppies Paradise. Yeah, so. I've got the mustache and the shirt. Ready for Miami. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's awesome. You got the OG Beach Club. That's one edition. Has the OG on the front. Oh, I went to the wrong one. OG on the front. Little Beach Club, Miami, Florida. We have the Pukey's Paradise. I love that. Hashtag bring your, bring your own bucket. <laughs> I mean, dude, like, it's so cool. That is so sick. Come on. Come on. I want to see a bunch of these in the stands in Miami. That That's a close-up on the OG Beach Club logo. I mean. Look at that. I mean, it's look perfect. at that, dude. Oh, it's so comfortable. Have you tried them on yet? I know we got a little care yeah. package from Ken. Yeah. I, well, I had mine in, the, in my Instagram picture. I had the black one on. It was the Pink yeah, Paradise. It, yeah. So sick. I love it. It's, it's so soft. Got that. There's the that, black look at that. version. Look at that. Guys, look come at on. That. Look at that. Anyways, order yours. Go to theogculture.com. That's our website. You can, guys can order there. There's still a, our Black Friday discounts. Are um are still available for all of our regular gear. Yeah. Boom. Boom. You know, Boom. and I and I there's a tank was, top. Yeah. I think that was a um and for the ladies, they got the crops on that too. Mm-hmm. Got the crops Sick. version. Let's see. Yeah, you guys look, you have it right out right here. But you guys see, we got discounts on all I, of I, our I, I think, old I think gear. the black I think the Black Friday was like like a mistake that's been going on this long. So <laughs> we're on that shit before he remembers. Yeah, things are selling out. And I don't know if you guys have been in Miami in January, but it can get hot. So yeah. I recommend we still got some of those hats out there, which are necessary when it comes to it. Bill and I will be there, which I'm freaking pumped about. Yeah. Um, Bill will be broadcasting with Sean Woodland for the individual I'm competition. Indian. And then I will be taking over on the weekend and doing the team side, which means we both have two days free to I know. With the, we should probably do another OG meetup somewhere. We need to do one. What do you guys think? We need to do one. Um, yeah. And I can't wait to do all the podcast stuff that they have set up with that too. Yeah, they have a huge... Yeah, don't worry. Dallas is frozen over. I said like, I, you know, dropping hot. It is currently snowing outside of my window. Are you serious? Behind. Yeah. It was Dang. like 60 degrees and sunny yesterday. Well, you, it's you guys be, are weird. Dude, that's how you guys do your stuff. It's going to be nine. Weather. It's going to be nine tomorrow. Nine. <laughs> and gross. it is currently snowing. So Dallas that's is, uh, <laughs> as long as we don't go through what we went through last year, we'll be okay. But know, uh, yeah, OG meetup. Uh, Watt Zombie, we'll have to see. Uh, you know, obviously Pasadena just got announced as one of the yeah. semifinal events. How you feel about that? That's in your neck. Of, well, I well, say your neck of the woods, as in California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the West Coast, I don't know wherever. How close it is to you. Uh, I actually thought that was kind of an interesting call. I mean, I, all the talk of all the Del Mar and Del Mar and Del Mar and Del Mar, and then go to Pasadena. So I, 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 it, I it's interesting, but cool, hmm. whatever, bring it. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It's California. Um, I don't care. I'm good. Yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll throw in some deets as we get closer to Wadapalooza. But, dude, have you seen these teams coming out? Oh, I want to. What's oh crazy is I want to know who. Some of the names are amazing to see put together, but it's like, who the hell? How did they even get together? I want to know you the mean, like behind Jake Crouch, 
Willie George and yeah, Roman yeah. Trenikov. <laughs> like, are they just not going to talk to each other the entire time? They're going to use hand signals. Hand signals. Dude. They got to use sign language. I mean, it's like three different languages all thrown out there. Yeah. I. I uh, but that being said, it's cool. Well, well, here's the thing: we're going to see Katrin on a team <laughs> for the first. I mean, how many times? How long do we say lashes? Like Katrin Annie should have been on that team last year. Yeah. Nine. Well, and then even so, then how does it? So then how does it work out where you have the two daughters? I mean the the. Uh, well, then who's I mean, about, the about as there? OG competitors to the sport as you could possibly be. I mean, they're up in that top. I mean, especially with Annie. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then you have Mal O'Brien on the team. Right. Like, how does that's what I mean? Like, how does that work? I can see Katrin and Annie. <laughs> right. But like, how does that how does that even? I don't know, dude. Trips well, I mean, Katrin's got the HWPO connection now with with Mal. Uh, I see that. All right. OK. But one thing is curious is that I'm surprised. And maybe this is just Matt hearing a little bit and knowing that Mal's 20 or 19, she's, she's a child, right? Right. Because right. go, go have fun. Go with the I don't want moms. you to do too much individual. Well, Matt never did teams. Yeah. And he really never, how many, did he ever do Wadapalooza? Uh, no, no. Because he did Dubai. Yeah. It's certainly in the qualifying stages. He just did the first one and he was done. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think he ever did. Someone look that up for us, but this is when we need like a, a Matt Souza or a Caleb Beaver in the background <laughs> just looking shit up for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, okay. So, hey, today we're going to talk about a 12 days of Christmas workout. I think the same thing last year where you have a standard one mm -hmm. you, you do every year. How long have you been doing yours? Uh, we've been doing that one for... That version, I think we've been doing it like eight or nine years. Eight or nine years, damn. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Um, mine changes every year, except two things. I keep the first and the twelfth, and everything else in the middle changes. And it, we went through ours and how we do it. And this year, we're like, hey, let's have some fun with this, and we're gonna program. Bill's got his own. I have my own. My own. A CrossFit Games edition of a 12 days of Christmas workout. And depending on the athlete, this could take two hours. I'm not sure, depending on what you put in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go off the rails. I just made things maybe like a bit heavier and more high skilled. I think that's uh, kind of the direction I went, but um, I'm really curious to see what you have. And um, I think it'll be a lot of fun playing around with that. But uh, before we get to it, Bub's Naturals has a special announcement. And I could think of nothing to go better than their cream, well, their MCT oil powder and their collagen protein, than the coffee they're dropping yeah. on us. Did you I get yours yet? Bag. I just got mine, and I haven't been able to brew any yet. I just got to smell it. It was on my porch last this morning. Yeah. I was like, what is that outside my door? <gasps> yeah. It's the Bub's Brew. Bub's Naturals has now made their own coffee to go with their incredible MCT oil powder, collagen protein. It's freaking awesome. Whole bean medium roast. I think some of the names, origin blend. I'm, man. Uh, one stop shop. One stop shop. <laughs> go to Bub's know, huh? com. Yeah, it was frozen. They're whole beans, so they're good to go. Um, one stop shop, go to bubsnatchels.com. I'll, uh, I'll throw up the link in there for you guys, but they're going to release this soon. Bill and I were just lucky enough to get a little taste. Uh, I can't wait to try it. Uh, dude, I, I cannot wait. And do, it's do, just, you, you got, do you have the story? Give them the story. Give them the story. The story. All right. You guys ready? The story. Bub was an adventure seeker, a river guide, skier, Ironman competitor, fitness fanatic, chef, gardener, handyman, and epic storyteller. Bub was a national hero, a Navy SEAL who saved lives, was always the life of the party, and became the best friend of all who knew him. That spirit lives within each of us. Join us by bringing out the Bub in everyone. We abide by the 10% rule, by the way, if you guys don't remember that. 10% of everything you purchase goes to a nonprofit charity to support our military. The Origin Blend... 
This is where it all began. Bud was an adventure seeker in his 20s. That first for adventure took him to surf of Captain America. Well, well, well. Oh, I'm sorry, Central America. Fuck, sorry. that was four years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird Freudian slip. I swear to God, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would it say Captain America on there? Central America. Let me start that over, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it all began. Bub was an adventure seeker, and in his 20s, that thirst for adventure took her to the surf of Central America. He met a few off-duty Navy SEALs in Costa Rica, and the seed was planted for his journey into serving his country. The origin blend is a tribute to that moment in time, a blend of specialty coffee sourced from select growers in Central America. So they're sourcing the beans in the location that put Bub on the path to becoming a Navy SEAL, which is that's awesome. so rad. Yeah, that's what they said. That like all and all the different blends that they have, all have something to do with where he came from or or a, a special place, either mm -hmm. where he served or where just like where he got his you know inspiration to be a SEAL. All those things. I think that that one of the coolest things about the company is not that they are necessarily reinventing the wheel per se. But the why's behind all of the things that they're doing, you know, the yeah. collagen. Why are they doing the, the what, what they're doing with the collagen? Why are they doing with the apple cider the the gummies? Why are they doing the MCT and why are they making now these beans? Um, it's it's just I, it's so cool. It's such a unique way, um, and such a new unique piece to their brand mm -hmm. that is just awesome. It's really yeah. cool. They did it's a great so job, cool. and it just it's a no brainer. Yeah, to yeah. put all all of those in one boat. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's so great. It's so great. Um, the other, we want to talk element 26 new year's coming up. You may have missed the holidays, the Christmas gift of anything that your fitness enthusiasts needs as far as CrossFit accessories, but the new year's coming, the open is fast approaching and the equipment list, which we'll have to go through next week sometime yeah, just right. got dropped yesterday. And I can't wait to speculate. The playbook is open. I can't wait to talk about that. It's, it's mm -hmm. wide open. Boz is mm -hmm. at the helm. Like, who knows? Who knows what's coming up? But I think it's going to get a little grippy. You may need those awesome hand grips that they just put out, which I had to use this morning because I did my own 12 days of Christmas version <laughs> of a workout this morning, actually. <laughs> and yeah, they, uh, the gym I now... Coach at and program for is kind of a non chalk gym, which is interesting. So Ooh. I have to really rely on the grippies. <laughs> you're you're one of those people now. No, I'm not. I am. Uh, I'm patiently waiting <laughs> to uh, <laughs> make a move. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get. You gotta be the virus in that gym and just get everyone chalk central again. What's funny is like. Um, I think if you've ever experienced this with like a new member or, or like a new coach and then like all the members will go to him and, and, and be like, Hey, we're too afraid to talk to Bill about this, but everyone's too afraid to talk to me about everything, dude. Right. Same with me. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I know why I'm not sure why, but, uh, so when we roll in, they're like, Hey, could you get a, could you get them to get us chalk? It's been, it's been a long time. <laughs> I was like, Hey man, I don't know. I can't come in here and just start like stepping on yeah, people's toes, but sure uh, you can. Sure you can. We'll see. <laughs> Those toes are wide open to be stepped on, dude. Do yes, it. but if you want to get prepped for the open, go to element26.co. That's .code, not .com. Use code GETWITH15 for 15% off. I'm telling you, the grips that they have on there, the new ISO grips, it has the yellow backing and the tacky front. They're thin. They're sticky, and you will live on that pull-up rig if you guys go and get those. Get yourself a weight belt. They have that hybrid leather belt, which can Velcro on. You don't have to worry about loops and pins and all these other things. It's not going to like crack your ribs because it's like unwavering <laughs> as far as that. And everything in between from knee sleeves to elbow sleeves. If you guys are mastering up into the 35-plus division, go get that one elbow sleeve. Obviously, if, you, if they come in pairs, just give one to a buddy. Uh, we're not allowed another to have 35 year old, another 35 year old. Those are the rules, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, uh, all right, let's get to it. So we're programming 12 days of Christmas workout for the CrossFit games. All right. Now, before we start, 
Okay. I want to know because I had. I think we need to. We need to know what the parameters are for what like we put together. Topic. All right. Okay. Lead. So what? What went? You want me to lead? Okay. Well, uh, uh, not not just off the bat. Like, tell me your. But well, you are going to go parameters. Well, 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 no. Either way, parameters. When yeah, you okay. when you saw yeah. it, when you saw it. And you said, okay, games edition. Did you see it? Let's say the games is in the during the holiday time one year for mm -hmm. some whatever weird reason. Um, do you see it in as an event that would be in the games? Or do you see it as only games athletes would do it? How did you put it together? I put it as in the games. Okay. Okay, because good, yeah. we're saying cross the games edition, but it's not like exclusively to games athletes. Okay. And my parameter was I'm putting this out in the basically the the outdoor arena or the outdoor competition okay. floor. Yeah. Okay. So that's where mine is. So so part of my movement patterns, selections, and so forth is to also work with the field of play a little bit. So it's tough for the athletes and maybe fun for the spectators a little bit too. So okay. Okay. Give myself okay. a bit more room. I try to make things, it's that balance, right? I want it to look good and interesting and be tough and challenging where people don't lose interest. And okay. Okay. Can... What about you? Okay. Uh, same thing. Mine was as an event in the games. I was setting mine up to be, um, instead of having the classic long event being a running or a rowing or a swimming i made mm. this be the long event so this has a 60 yeah, minute yeah. time cap okay yeah um and so with that same thing that there would be i i just kind of envisioned this um in the outdoor arena at the games so you could have a lot of lanes you could have a lot of athletes on the field um and all being able to move and then you know basically set setting it up to where you have the marching down the field for the most part, like every, mm -hmm. for the most part, every step is going to be your 12. So we you have your level one, then your level two, as you kind of move across the field and move your way back. Um, but it was really fun to put it together because I saw this as an opportunity to make it uh, high end, obviously mm -hmm. yeah. heavy, of course, because these guys, these athletes are just so dang strong. Yeah. Um, but in, in, in almost like a condensed version of a Spartan race oh. without it having the run, without it being like runs with 30 obstacles, mm -hmm. it's going to be, okay, we're going to take the run out because we'll probably have running in the game somewhere else anywhere. So this is going to be all of the different pieces. So kind of, I mean, obviously kind of like a chipper, but there's, because you have 12 stations, mm -hmm you can make this really, really cool. So I, I'm, I'm hoping that what mine does is it stumps, it stumps them like it would stump our athletes when they're doing our version of the, of the setup here. Okay, I like uh, that. Of, of, our, of our Inferno one. All right, so same page, same page, same page. Yeah. Um, I would love you to do the honors. People think my mustache is fake, but it's not. Dang. This, is, this is real. My wife is over it. <laughs> See, dude, that, that's why you don't have a beard or a mustache because you can't, you're never uh, allowed to keep that thing. What, uh, here's the thing, too. I am one cold away from shaving it. Like, if, cold, I, if cold. I have a cold, or, like, if my nose is running, I'm like, this is fucking disgusting. And now I'll just shave my mustache off. Like, immediately. All that work gone, one that's cold. Why that's why you just have to go with the beard. Cause then it takes a, it's a lot, it's a lot more like a mustache. You're just like, bzz, it's gone. But if you're going to do the whole beard, you're like, I am completely changing I my face hard for this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and part of it too, it's like, um, it's, I, I consider it, um, like a compromise. You get to see most of my face. <laughs> <laughs> and I still get to keep some facial hair. And really what I was doing, I was, I was growing it for my dad because my dad has had a mustache my entire life. That's all yeah. I know him by with ashley's dad which is weird that she hates it so much um, um and well they, I, I will say i just so i got my beard you know trimmed up and i've got it touched up and everything um a couple couple weeks back and i got this beard bomb mm -hmm. dude what is it I, um it, it's like it's it's like a it's like a coconut a coconut you know? a coconut oil 
base basically that when I put it on my face uh, now this is Janelle saying that they hurt now I get that part because they can be scruffy and tough and all that my daughter right now thinks that my beard is so soft really like, uh, she can't keep her hands off of my beard and likes to like rub her chin and her face in my beard like at the bottom part now because it's so soft because of the oh, stuff no, I put in it so <laughs> as a guy who's been kind of playing with this stuff for a while, I'm yeah. kind of like the mustache, even the mustache. How long not all prickly beard now. Ooh, because um, you had the you had the Wolverine chops. Yeah, oh, uh, probably mustache. probably five years now. Okay, something like that. All right. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So, well, anyways, I wanted to keep it for my dad, but we we're supposed to go to San Antonio like tomorrow, but we just moved houses. We're still unpacking our current house. My kids have been out of school for the last three days, four days. Um, Weiss work is crushing her. And it's like freezing now. Like last time this happened, now it was a hundred year anomaly, anomaly last year. But now my wife and my mother-in-law are afraid that like the pipes are going to burst again. Dude, <laughs> so, it's possible. It is possible. And the reason why, and this is why I'm bummed is like, okay, we're going to stay because we close like we close out of our old house on Monday. Like, oh gosh. It, it's a just chancing if we leave and go out of town that we can't be around in case something happens and we just screw the deal. And so we're just like, <laughs> okay, I'm not, we're not going to come. So, so my really big hope is, is that I can bring this to Wadapalooza. Just I mean, bring it to Wadapalooza. What better? I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna. You have to have that at Wadapalooza. Okay. So, cold or not, I'll wife or wife not, number, Ashley, you can, you can Ashley, we'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> He's got to bring the goddamn mustache to Miami. Period. Oh, that's great. Anyway, I want to. I want to. All right. Let's get to business now. Ooh. I would like you to start because usually I have one missing and I think what? I did the same thing last year. Oh my god. I've got I've got programmer's block. Okay. So I need you to lead it off. Uh, now if you guys aren't familiar with 12 days of 12 days of Christmas format, it's 1 to 12, you try to fit the rep scheme as to the number of reps or maybe sometimes distance or whatever to movement at which you're doing and it's one through 12 round one you start at one round two you start at two and go back to one three two one four three two one until finally it's 12 down to one just like the song and where everybody in the gym gets screwed up is they go one two and they go right to three and like shit every time <laughs> every time i, I can make a 30 minute lecture on how the song goes play 19 different versions and everyone will go one one two nope messed it up every yep. time I will Everything. sit there and be like, all right, one. Good. Now everybody go to two. Okay, go back to one. <laughs> now go to three. And I'll do that for like the first five minutes, just like a, a composer oh. of going on in the gym. So, so funny. um all right. Now with that being said, please, sir. Okay. Lead it off. So here's what we have: 60 minute cap. All done with a vest. Mm. The entire time. Ooh. The entire the whole time. The time. Yeah. 20 and 14. My station number one. I like to I like to have a a I, I think this is a classic one to have for your one because it's a big kind of stamp. Nice big fat clean and jerk as your one. So mm. when you hit it the, at the end of every round, boom, there's your one. I have a 275 and a 195 clean Ooh, and jerk. Ooh, I like with, it. With a vest, of course. Oh. I forgot about that already. Um, stage number two. So as you take, you start off at the starting line, then you move to your next stage, which is going to be a burpee wall over at six feet and five feet. Ah. So you have two of those. So you go over, burpee, mm -hmm. come on back, go back to your uh, uh, barbell to finish up that round. Uh, number three, pass the wall is going to be three box jumps, 42 and 38 inches. Nice. Again, with the vest. 
Um, then we have a uh, number four. It's going to be hang squat snatch. Okay. 185, 135. Mm. Number five will take you. You'll have kind of a, a little bit of a space, but then you'll go by and make your way to the rig. And there you're going to do uh, five ring muscle ups. Okay. Which is great because that ends up being 40 weighted ring muscle ups. Ooh. Total. Ooh. So I, have the to I have the total reps of the whole thing. Uh, we got to keep saying that with the vest. Yeah. Patrick, with the, the vest, whole time. Yeah. There's a there's a 20 and 14 pound vest on the entire time of this. Entire time. Event. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, after that, you have six pistols each leg. So it's the have to do six on one leg okay. and six on the other leg. I like it. Um, for the seven rep, you're doing a uh, push press, 185, 135. So you come back to that same barbell. Then, now this is going to be kind of the tricky one. This will be kind of a, new, a nuance. Maybe people have done it in training. Um, but I needed to... I wanted this one in there, but of course we couldn't do it the normal way. So you have to do a weighted toes to bar, eight weighted toes to bar, eight weighted toes to bar. You so mean you just weighted because you have the vest on, or are you? No, 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 no. That the vest, the vest is all the time. Okay. The weighted is you're taking um, your med ball and you're putting it between your your knees. Ah. Okay. Okay. And then you got to go up thirty and twenty pounds. Mm. Only eight of Ooh. them there. Yeah. Okay. 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 So the reason that's important is because for number nine, you have to do nine wall balls at 30 and 20 uh, to a 12 foot mark. 12 foot with the 30 and 20. Mm -hmm. Oh, now again, it's only 36 no, yeah, wall balls. Yeah, you're, right, you're right. I like okay. that. Yeah. Then for a number 10, we have 10 bar muscle ups. Hmm. That's so hard with the vest. That is tricky. It, it's a timing thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. if you if you can utilize, like you, you can't try to work yourself up, but if you get uh, the swing into it, it works. It mm. works. Um, so what are we on? That was uh, bar muscle ups. Oh, number 11. Okay, deficit, strict, handstand push-ups. Okay. Um, and I'll say, uh, four and three inches. Okay. Um, your final bar is the front squats for 12, 275, 195. Mm. Again, you have the vest on, so it's actually a little bit more than that, but that'll be the one you're using. So that barbell, so, uh, the barbell that you'll be using will take you all the way down. We'll use the same one. So as you finish your deficit handstand push, Push-ups number 11 and work yep. your way all the way back to your clean and jerk you start at the clean and jerk with your 12 front squats and then run yourself all the way back to the rig and da, 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 march yourself all the way back down to finish off with mm -hmm. your final clean and jerk at the very end i like that mark this isn't for the gym <laughs> no hell no god you guys damn. Gotta remember this is for the crossfit games <laughs> 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 but i thought oh, that that would be i thought that that would be man, i it would be super fun because there would be a lot of pieces it's obviously heavy um there's a lot of pieces that i think are in there but they haven't done a heavy uh long time framed event that i can really remember not a heavy one mm -hmm. they've even done either kept it down at like that 12 and maybe maybe 12 to 15 but for the most part all of those things have been like shorter events. And so I wanted to make, well, I guess, I guess the ruck one was kind of a weighted one. I could do that, but um, I wanted to make a heavier weighted I like that. long event. Here's a good question. Yeah. Take everything you just did and give it to your gym. Okay. Um, here's what I would do. I, I honestly, I would do it with, with our event with the way that we normally, which is the cl okay. the clean and jerk, but I'd go 225, 155. Mm -hmm. um, then I would have, I think I would put ring muscle ups at that point for the number two or the version of that because that would be 22 reps. Uh, box jumps at 30 and 24. Okay. Uh, Mark, no, they wouldn't have to do this one, not in the gym anyway, with a vest. This would be without a vest. 
Um, hang squat snatch at 135 and 95. The five would be um, bar facing burpees. Okay. <clears throat> Six would be pistols total. So alternating pistols. Then seven would be push press at 135 and 95. Regular toes to bar for eight. Okay. Um, wall balls uh, for nine. Yeah. Ten would be uh, chest to bar pull ups. Eleven would be handstand push ups. And 12 would be front squats again at the 225 and uh, 155. Yeah. Or seven, um, I think that would be like 75. I'd say 75% of your one rep max uh, clean. Yeah, because you give percentages as part of your yeah. scale, right? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the question came up with Patrick and Mark. Is this with or without a vest for the Without gym? a vest. Okay. Yeah. So we, right. did our, we did ours, um, I think it was the, the first weekend, sec, first or second weekend of December. Mm -hmm. And I I did that one. It took me forty, like forty, forty five, forty six minutes. Okay. And I think I think the general was somewhere right around there between like forty between like forty five and an hour. Based on what like people it. were doing, it was fun, super fun. I like that. Okay. All right. I want to hear. I want to hear yours. Mine. Uh, we're at the we're at the uh, out, the outdoor football field, the the field of play. Yeah. And what I wanted to do is like span the length of the field, so you can just like like you said, from twelve down to one, you can pretty much know where people are and watch them trickle back and forth, up and down, just sh shit everywhere. Like it's all in line. It's just yeah. nice. Little, like what I would love is like you to come out. This would be one of those unknown events. You're like, okay, all days of Christmas. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll start with one. One like you. I want that one to be a, a calorically dense movement, as we like to call them, right? Worth, it's a salty one. And it's a 20 foot legless rope climb from a seated position. Oh, from the seated, like it. Yeah. It's like we almost had at the game. Almost had, almost got to see that almost, in the games. Yes. Some of the movements I have in here are because of what happened at the CrossFit Games last I year. I like it. All right. Number two, 20 heavy double unders. Okay. Simple enough. Times 11. <laughs> <laughs> you do a legless. Just throw it out there. 20 heavy double unders. Before that, three overhead squats, 225 and 155. I like that. This is all invested. Number four. I'm curious about your thoughts on here. You, we have our uh, three foot by three foot box, and it's four pirouettes in the box. I think that's a good idea. Thank you. Uh, uh, I mean, we've had pirouettes down. already, technically. So we had one. Got a got a time. Yeah, I mean, it's a progression. You've had sitting in the box for as long as you can. You've had your pirouettes. Okay. okay. Now, well, let me ask you, does it have to be unbroken? No. Or do you just have to get four? You just have a revolution, revolution, get past the line. You can come down. It doesn't have to be unbroken. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, totally. Love it. Oh, Mark, sorry. The unvested. There's no vest for this. I'm not sure if I led with that. Uh, four pirouettes in a box. I like that. Five clean and jerks at 225 and 155. Oh, dude, that's 40. Yeah. That's 40 clean and jerks. Yeah. The end is... Like I said, dense. Number six, six burpee box jump overs at 42 and 30 inches. Ooh, Ooh. okay. On or over? Uh, over. So box or, jump um, over. Um, on. The regular box jump overs. On, no hands. Not, not. Okay, okay. Oh, so I like on it. On and off, but you can't put your hands on to get yourself up on the box. Like that. Number seven, we got a nice A-frame out there in the middle of the field, and we're just doing seven ring muscle-ups. So I'm out there. I think that's important. Number eight, eight sandbag squat cleans with a 200 and 150 pound bag. So from the floor, catching the shoulder, take it into a squat and stand up all the way. Dang, dude. Yeah. Eight There's games athletes. Right? I guess they are. I thought about 150 and 100, but 
I just didn't think it was enough. Oh, Bruce, yes, you just listened to... Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> uh, nine, Echo Bike, cows. Just a little, a little breather. <laughs> <laughs> it, it can either take a long time or a like short that. time. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> break. Ten pistols on each leg Ooh. with a 53-pound kettlebell and 35-pound kettlebell. Unbroken. Oh. They did five and five with the Cinco's. That was in 2000. No, you're no 100%. And you what, saw how silly they moved on that one. Well, well yeah. You hopefully, <laughs> <10 years. laughs> 11 pig flips. Just flip it over, walk to the other side, flip it over. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Flip cool. back and forth. And 12 press to handstands on the pirouettes. Okay, do you have a time frame on this? I'm giving it an hour. Oh, so you thought Same an hour too thing. good. I like it. Yeah. I like it. One hour. Okay, I have a question. Oh. I have a question. Yeah. I, I I love how you got to some of those, um, like the pig flip. I think that's that's an awesome one. Thank you. Um, what made you go clean and jerk and then squat clean with the sandbag? That's the one I'm... Was that the writer's block? The, the, that's the, the writer's block one. Hmm. And I thought about maybe just doing it because a clean jerk is just power. It's not a squat. Well, well what if what if you did? What, about doing what if like you did just? The, what if you just did uh, uh, sandbag front squat or like sandbag squats? Sandbag squats. Okay. Because at least it's like you take the. It's not yeah, like a clean, cool. like you just clean. That's thing. That's the part I had a problem with was pull, getting something from the floor again. So sandbag squats. I like that. Because sandbag it was like, squats it, yeah. in the bear hug position. Yes. Yes. For eight reps. Dude, that would be shitty. What do you have after that? Is it the for eight? Because then you have because the, then you have the assault bike after that. No, it's before it. Oh dang. That's good. Okay, so I'll go twelve down to one and this would be the blow. Right. This is how everything would go into each other. Yeah. yeah. So you get through your round of 11, you're coming into the final round, running from the rig, right? And that'll be the fun part, right? You do your last legless rope climb on the other side of the field and you got to haul your ass, right? Yeah. There's, there's a subtle 13th element in here and that oh, is I the run it. from one to the next station. Totally. And by the end, I mean, you're probably running easily. I mean, I think if they were all just 10 meters apart, eight meters apart. I actually want to do the math there later. 12 press to handstand off parallettes into 11 alternating pig flips. 10 unbroken pistols on each leg with a 53 and 35 pound kettlebell. Nine echo bike cows. Eight sandbag squats at 200 and 150 in the bear hug position. Seven muscle ups. Six burpee box jump overs at 42 and 30. Five power clean and jerks at 225 and 155. Four pirouettes in a box. Three overhead squats at 225 and 155. 20 heavy double unders and one seated 20 foot legless rope climb. Yeah, that would be cool. Now, uh, so look at, the, look at the math on the movements. For your station number one, which would be a rope climb, so my clean and jerk, that's 12. So you have 12 of those. Your station number two, you're going to have 22 reps. Um, station number three would be 30 reps and you, which one did you do on that one? Overhead squats. Okay. So 30 overhead squats. Mine was the box jump overs. Mm. Uh, station four is going to be 36 reps. Pirouettes. Um, uh, mine's the hang squat snatch. Mm -hmm. Uh, number five would, would be 40 reps total. So mine's muscle ups. Clean and jerk. Here's a clean and jerk. Yeah, it's funny. Cause like it's the barbell version of the muscle up. Right. Totally. <laughs> um pistols uh, or number six i had pistols on each leg so that's 42 on each leg mm -hmm. um seven was push press that's also 42 is that your mm -hmm. which was your pistols well, which one uh pistols so and, my burpee box jump overs for my six okay muscles seven was what Mu muscle ups of seven so 42 yeah. muscle ups uh eight would be 40 reps and we start working our way back down now mm-hmm 
Set of nine would be 36. Set of 10 would be 30, and you had 30 on each leg. So right. not 30 total, but 30 on each leg. Yeah. Um, 11 would be your 22. And then your 12 would be obviously your 12. Mm -hmm. It's a cool, I like, I mean, I love the setup. And it's interesting, you know, for those of you guys at home that are, you know, that want to program your, you know, 12 days of Christmas setup, it's important to know kind of what those numbers are because it does help you decide, all right, how many of these things are we actually doing? Mm -hmm. You know, I see some people, they'll put like, I don't know. They'll they'll do oh, dude, uh, I'll see some things from like, what are you doing? They'll have like, yeah, yeah. Do you have any idea what what number that was? Like, come on, <laughs> really? Like for like forty double unders is all we're gonna be doing on this entire five double unders at this station. Like that's forty total. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's really weird, but it's uh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the distance that they would end up going. Well, if you had, let's see, it's, if I went with zero through, that's 144, 100, and, no, it's 12 factorial. Yeah. Plus. So 55, 66. Because zero, say I just put everything in meters apart. So from Zeus to, a, to the pig flip would be 100 meters because we're starting at zero. Got it. So that's 550 meters, let's say, plus. Well, if that's five, then you just subtract 10 each time, right? Yeah. So 550, so five, then well, 540. It's, uh, it's six, 700 meters of running in there. That's whatever. It's a sneaky three or four minutes of time. And the people, well, depending on how people move I, on, on yeah. either of ours, depending how people move uh, you know, generally speaking, like there's not a, a not so many reps that you're going to be able to make a big move on anybody, but you can on the transitions because there's so mm -hmm. many transitions. So that would be the sneak part of how, like if we were talking keys, the keys on both of ours would be you need to move on your transitions because that's where you can pass people. There are going to be so many of the people are going to be thinking that that's their rest time to get ready mm -hmm. to move. But those that walk versus walk quickly versus jog versus run yeah you know uh um, and the thing I, is like they're gonna have to actually run harder on the longer ones yeah they yeah. don't want to yeah 660 meters of someone who is say jogging at a seven minute mile pace which for 100 meters is relatively slow yeah but if someone else is jogging at an eight or nine meter pace or walking, and now it's 12 to 16 mile pace. You, yeah. Maybe yeah. the biggest separator for everyone is what they do in between the time and that they that's go. That's what I movement. mean. That would be the, that would be one of the, if we were talking this and they're like, what are the keys? That would be one of the keys. There's a, there's mm -hmm. a ton of movements. So you can't say that any of the movements are, this is the key point necessarily, but the key movement is the transition how you move through each of those things, because that's the constant throughout the entire thing. Mm -hmm. You're doing more of the transition than you do, are doing of any other one of the separate movements that you have, right. um, you know, over and over and over again. So yeah, that would be strategy. Um, Mark, normal human workout. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so 12, I had pressed. What did you do? And today? Yeah. Is that what he's asking? Is that what Mark is asking? I can just give you the workout that I did today. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll give you my 12 days of Christmas that I did today for normal humans. Yeah. It was uh, our two constants. Like I said, we change it every year, but the two constants is number one, we do those bar pullovers. Those are in the worlds. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah. And then number yeah. 12, we always do Curtis P's. Yeah. If you guys don't know what Curtis P is, it's a power clean, lunge forward, lunge forward in place, lunge, lunge, push press. That's a Curtis P that set is one. Uh, so we did, and, and what I did is that I alternated every basically modality. So I went gymnastic, monostructural weightlifting all the way down one through 12. So you got a little taste of everything. And today we use kettlebells for our, our weightlifting component. So it went one bar pullover, 200 meter row, three kettlebell thrusters at 53 and 35, four toes to bar, five cal ski erg, six hang power cleans with the kettlebells, 
seven handstand push-ups, eight cal on the concept two bike, nine kettlebell deadlifts, which actually was way harder than I thought it was hard, but I was just like, ugh. The, those are just way, it's like lightweight and they just suck. Yeah. Bad, bad. Uh, 10 burpee pull-ups, 11, uh, 110 double unders as my 11, and then 12 Curtis piece with the kettlebells. What was the, worst right, part? Uh, the worst part, the Curtis piece sucked the most, but yeah. I get it once. I, like, I want to hang on as long as I can. And I'm like, Oh my God, I did three and had to put them down. <laughs> <laughs> um, it took about 45 minutes or so. Um, which is perfect. That's like that's the time frame. Right. You want it to get around. And so I would say is like, Less weight on the kettlebells, lower skill on the gymnastics, and all the cal stuff and row stuff is fine. How'd your yeah. shoulder feel? Fine. Part of the why, like, I, it's a bar, like, I, the barbell hurts my shoulder. The kettlebells. Uh, now, what I'm worried about is that maybe I've like up so much that, like, now <laughs> I'm, I'm worried that I'm <laughs> slowly fraying everything. And that's what my, my, um, <laughs> ortho said he's like you're making it worse i was like but if i don't i didn't feel any pain yeah so if i feel anything i just won't i won't do it out of like fear of making it worse but then like when i don't feel it i'm not doing anything stupid but i don't know maybe i am doing it worse uh do janelle they, curtis p here i'll put it in the chat do they uh i mean you're going in for surgery anyway right yeah but you can make it you can make this you can make it worse and your recovery will be worse longer so I'm trying to not do that. <laughs> <clears throat> so, all right. Those were our 12 days of Christmas workouts. Uh, we will post these for our Patreons, our Programmatrons. So if you guys follow us on Patreon, thank you so much for supporting us more than you guys already do. But if you don't, you can give the gift of Christmas and go to patreon.com forward slash get with the programming and Subscribe to us for six bucks a month. We'll drop our two events in that for our Patreon supporters. Once we get through, uh, probably uh, soon enough, we'll uh, revisit the CrossFit Journal Book Club. Hoover Ball is coming up, which I can't That's wait. Right. I know. And I know. Man, we got a lot of analyzing to get to. There's been a lot of things. I mean, we have um, the legends we have to do. Legends, Wheel Wad Games. We're actually going to yeah. have Evan Ogar on the show and go through the Wheel Wad Games. Yeah. Um, Fit Wars. Talk about that. We'll put that in there. Wad Zombie and uh, Brian Friend and Andrew Hiller put this little head to head competition as a tip of the cap to the old uh, Rush Club. Mono y Mono <laughs> Battle. It was uh, Scott Tetlow versus Colt Mertens. <laughs> And we'll, we'll talk about that workout that you threw out there as, as well as we get through all this. But uh, yeah, that was super fun. Hope you guys like that. CrossFit Games athletes, that'll probably be programmed next year for sure. Obviously. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> call it 12 day, they could just call it 12 days of CrossFit. Ah. They don't even need to say it's Christmas. Get fitness. that whole, get that 12 days of fitness. No, it's got to be CrossFitness. CrossFit. CrossFit. 12 days of CrossFit. Miss. Yeah, CrossFit. <laughs> miss, miss, miss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for joining the show today. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your fan uh, friends. Enjoy your families. Have a happy holiday. We guys see you on the flip side of this weekend. Thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs>